How's it going guys? Today I'm on my toy hunt at Toys R Us and they have some of the new Disney figural key rings. This is series 10 and it features the classic Disney characters. That's cool. Chip and Dale look adorable. <laughs> Let's go over here and take a look at this side. So they have some World of Nintendo, little Splatoon squishies, and Dragon Ball Z. Or Dragon Ball Super. I don't know. They're spin battlers. <laughs> Pint sized heroes. Then on this side, they have some of the little sprouts for Cabbage Patch Kids. Um, Foxy. Cute packaging. Okay, and in back with the action figures, they still have some of the Toys R Us exclusive mystery minis for Five Nights at Freddy's. I really just want the Funtime Foxy. <laughs> So, wow, they actually have kind of two half cases going on there. Well, we have a Funtime Foxy plushie, so Toys R Us must have gotten in some sister location plushies. They also have the little minifigures. There's another Funtime Foxy. Cute little slither. And it looks like, oh, hi, Donald. Just Funtime Foxy. But that's cool. I know they're coming out with sister location key rings or the backpack hangers, that's awesome, as well as sister location uh, pint size heroes, yes. So can't wait to, to find those, definitely stay tuned on future toy hunts. They still don't have the uh, collectible figures here, I'm surprised, it's been a while <laughs> at my Toys R Us. They do have some of the blind boxes for the little green men. I've never opened these. Oh, that guy looks funny. He's yelling. Um, but they look kind of neat. They have a cool artwork to them. Ooh, and then lurking back here, oh, we have the, the puppet in the prize corner there. That's an awesome set. And on this side, they have a lot of the new Roblox figures. So they have the large pack, they have the vehicle, which looks really cool. I like the, the figure it comes with. He does not look happy. So that's awesome. Ooh, she looks neat. Let's see, and then they have this pack. We have a lot of those. Oh, that's an older pack. And then the actual mini figures. Oh, this one is hilarious. He has a fish on his head. So this is Meep City Fisherman. So here's the six you can get. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, so let's see if they have all six. Here's the, the vampire hunted, or this guy. Oh, he looks really cool. Hunted vampire. What did I say? <laughs> you know what I meant. And then they have this guy. He looks super happy. Let's see, they have some of the other series mixed in here. This guy, Phantom Forces Ghost, okay. Let's see, I wonder if some of the other ones are Wave 2, like they did in the first series. I don't know, I will go through these. Um, let's see, those are the first series. Oopsies, let's pick, oh boy, I am just dropping stuff. <laughs> My goodness, I will pick that up. Okay, so I went through, it's a lot easier to do it not holding a camera and having two hands. So they have this guy, which looks awesome. He's the Skyhound dude, love the wings. And then they have this one, she is the queen of the tree lands, and oh my goodness, she looks so cool. A little butterfly there on her cheek. That is awesome. They're, wow, series two is super creative. Oh my goodness. Um, these are $7.99 at Toys R Us. And then they also have a series two of the Minecraft buildables. I remember these. They were awesome. Oh, they have a baby pig, Enderman. The packaging looks neat with the Ender Dragon there. Huh. So there's nine or maybe more. No, there's nine to collect. That's awesome. I really like the dragon. 
and the box, the packaging is, is on point there with that picture. So those are pretty neat. I have a big box of them. I think they're $10 each or $9.99. And then here's a look at the Minecraft stuff. Nothing else new. And then in the world of Nintendo, they actually have the large castle playset. That is so cool. You get an exclusive Bowser figure. Okay, so this goes way back. That is awesome, and it's quite large. Ah, you have the little flagpole, like in the classic NES Super Mario Brothers. Oh, that's cool. I love this section in back, because they have such a cool world in Nintendo. Love these diorama sets. They are a little pricey at twenty four ninety nine, but they're really cool. And then we move on to Pokemon, which also awesome. Hi. Oh, wow. What's this? Oh my goodness, look at these minifigures. Oh, Angry Pikachu and the starters. Rowlet, Lit, Litten, my bad, and Poplio. That is so cool. Oh my goodness, they have a Solgaleo and Lunala. What? I had no idea these were coming out. Okay, I'm going to have to look for those. A big action figure of those guys would be awesome. That set's really cool. So I think those are the to Tomy ones. They're not the trainer's choice. Let's see here. So, huh. I guess these are Tomy as well. I'm, I'm sure trainer's choice are, but wow. That is just exciting. New, new Pokemon stuff yet again. They also have the cute little miniature sticky play sets. <laughs> the one with the suction cups. Those are adorable. Happy Pikachu. You're so cute. So awesome. And then there is a bunch of the Eevee plushies, Mega Charizard. I don't see anything else, but so awesome. Love, love, love that set. And then here's a look at the grocery gang section. They have some of the little play sets as well as the blind packs couple action figures. That's cool. Gooey Chewy's back there. And then they have the 16 grocery packs. Those are always fun. They're a good value because you do get a ton of little blind bags inside. So here's the trash stained ones that you can get and they actually look really cool too. Very fitting for series 3. So they have that pack with those two on there. I like the banana peel. This one's hilarious with the fish and pizza box. <laughs> Oops, it looks like those two. Let's see what this guy is. Oh, that's a different one that has the bangers and trash. <laughs> so those are awesome. Let's see, there's stuff lurking back here. They have the trash can exclusive little collector pack. They also have some more action figures, gooey chewy and the dodgy donut. Cool stuff. Love Grocery Gang. They also have some of the Fungus Among Us. And then down in the Mega Block section, they ha this is where they store their Five Nights at Freddy's. I had no idea. The McFarlane Buildables. So this set I have not seen. This is the Parts and Service set. Wow. And who knows? They could have had it the whole time and I've never really looked down this aisle often. So that is awesome. So definitely take a look. You, you'd never know what you might find down some of the other aisles. They also have the control area <gasps> and the Five Nights at Freddy like jump scare pizza <laughs> thing. Oh my goodness, look at how funny he looks. That is awesome. So steal Freddy's pizza, but don't wake him. He will jump. Oh, that is so cool. I saw this online. Look at the guy's face. <laughs> um, I saw this online and part of me really, really wants to buy it beware the jump scare um it just looks so cool so if you take too many pizzas off the tray he jumps <laughs> and scares you and it's $24.99 at Toys R Us awesome oh my goodness so definitely check down random aisle oh so cool on their little individual pizza slices And then also down this aisle, they have the Pokemon Mega Constructs. They have Gyarados. They have some of the other little play sets. These look really cool, too. I haven't purchased any yet, but they're tempting. They have the small little Pokeball characters up there as well. I really like the 
Charizard one. And then they also have some of the Welly Wishers Mega Constructs. Those look very colorful and cute. Awesome. And in the minion section, they actually have these large packs and looky, it comes with an exclusive fluffy. Oh man, a lot of these characters are repeats. You also get four mystery ones, which is kind of cool. But that exclusive fluffy, the unicorn. Oh, making me buy the whole pack, which I probably will. <laughs> probably not today, but oh, they might have two different varieties. They also have this one. So they have one that comes with a vampire and one that comes with the single cell minion. Huh. That's cool. You have other little packs. Um, so awesome. Love Fluffy. So cute. Ooh, and then Disney Crossy Road, they have the little game display case. You get the band leader Mickey. Oh, and a glow-in-the-dark Baymax. So two exclusive figures as well as the awesome little uh, game oopsies oh my goodness I'm dropping stuff the game dispenser which how many times have I spun that on the app my goodness oh <gasps> you put in a coin okay so you do put in a coin and a box comes out just like in the game that that's pretty sweet okay that's that's <laughs> that's awesome <laughs> And here they have some really cool Harry Potter magical creature figures. They're, they feel like die casts. They're super heavy. So they have Dobie. They also have um, Hedwig. Wow. So he's number two. That's awesome. The detailing on them is very realistic. Oh, they have Dumbledore's Phoenix. That's really cool. So if you're a Harry Potter fan, these look awesome. Ooh, they have mini mates of pirates. Did men tell no tales? I love mini mates. They're pretty cool. Let's see. Oh, Ickis. He's adorable. And they also have some of the anniversary Pokemon sets. And then here's a look at the Num Num section. They actually have this large birthday mega pack. It's a little pricey. But it comes with a special edition Connie confetti, and there's a glitter version. She's kind of glittery. It's hard to tell, but that looks adorable. So especially if you missed out on some older characters, this set's really awesome. And so colorful and cute, and it's shaped like a birthday cake. <laughs> they also have the Connie confetti little carrier. As well as some of the new plushies, which are adorable. And then Hatchimals, they have the Toys R Us exclusive, cute little 12-pack egg crate, as well as the little Toys R Us exclusive Alicorn packs. These are the two packs, and it looks like there's six in the series, so kind of like the, the Barakeet ones. A small series, but very awesome. I had no idea, Toys R Us. I wonder if they'll do the um, Birdles from Walmart. That would be cool, because they're pretty cute, too. And then moving on over to the Zoom Zooms, Toys R Us rearranged their, their aisle there. They have the awesome playset. Oh my goodness, they have the advent calendar already. <laughs> so that's cool. So here's a look. That's pretty cute. I can't believe they have it already, but that's, that's awesome. Those are a lot of fun to open. And then they have some of the character-themed packs, the Toy Story pack, and then some more Series 7 packs. Oh, they have that one with um, Nick, Nick Wilde. I haven't seen that yet. They have a great variety. I do like the little gift box idea of Series 7. That's pretty cute. Although you don't get large figures in the three packs anymore. But awesome. Awesome stuff. And then here's a look at the Shopkins. Not too stocked. They do have some of the new Happy Places. I do not see any cutie cars. Um, let's see. I really like this, this playset. That's cute. They have the schoolhouse. And then some of these packs. The birthday one. 
remember seeing the Donatina, which I really liked. Okay, let me see if I can manage this with one hand. Oh, there she is. The Gourmet Kitty Kitchen. She's adorable. I've always loved her as a shoppie. Oh, and they have the other uh, Cozy Bear Bedroom one. So those are the three newer ones that I haven't... You don't see too m much of those guys. Oh my goodness, there's like a corn cob little little kitty cat petkin. <laughs> that is super cute. And they also have like the school ones as well. Some of the little shoppies, always adorable. Some puppy in my pocket. And kitty in my pocket. Ooh, and down here they have a large pack where you get kitty, puppy, and jungle. <laughs> so, all in one. You get a lot of figures, that's cool. Those jumbo packs make for really nice, uh, like, holiday gifts and birthday gifts and what have you. Because next thing you know, Christmas is right around the corner. That's crazy. And then they also have a mega mystery power box for Shopkins. <laughs> Here's a look at these little squeezy guys. <laughs> They're kind of cute. And then they also have the Squish Delish Squishy blind bags. Some of the characters look interesting. Oh, okay. Kind of slow rising. I really like the cow donuts. And that eggplant bear looking thing. Um, I heard they were going to come out with Shopkins ones too. <laughs> that bear's cute. So, very cool. Collect them all. I am curious to open them and see how they compare to other squishies. <laughs> then we have some enchantables, and then back over here. And then on an aisle end cap, Toys R Us has a bunch of these glimmies, which are these little light up figures. They're an interesting little design. Oh my goodness, I can't get that back. <laughs> so they have little singular... Oh, whoopsies. Singular packs, as well as three packs. Oh, that one's a little deer. And then they have little houses. That's kind of cool. So they have these varieties. Oh, that's a little strawberry house. That's pretty cute, actually. So, another new new type of toy. Oh, that little orange one's a cute little bat. <laughs> so, pretty cute. And then here's a look at some of the spirit toys. They have a lot of the dolls. Little plushies. Oh, they're carrying the Hanazuki packs too now. Those are colorful. And then LPS. We have that really cool pack with the little fluffy characters, as well as the Toys R Us exclusive playset. I did find the regular one, and I think I like the Toys R Us exclusive better. You get those little fuzzy ones. It just has a cute little winter wonderland theme. The other one is just kind of regular, but still awesome. We have some of the black and white series, little family packs, very cute. Love me some LPS, and then My Little Pony World here. I have some of those Equestria girls, little changing figures. They have Rarity. Ooh, the glare on that. They also have Twilight Sparkle. <laughs> there we go. So they come with like three outfits total and the little figure. Ooh, Squishy Pops Series 4 still. Yeah. For $1.99, Squishy Pops are awesome. And they also have some new plushies for the movie. Um... This is Princess Luna. She looks cool. I kind of like the style of the plushies this time around. They look rather cute. Oh, look how cute Rainbow Dash is. She's all smiley. These are way cuter than previous plushies. Some of those other ones were... Whoopsies, get in there, Rainbow Dash. I don't want to ruin the nice display. Fluttershy, Twilight Sparkle. They all have the cute little smile and Pinkie Pie. Definitely cuter than some of the older plushies. Good job, My Little Pony. Oh, and they have jumbo ones, too. Awesome. And then here's some of the other toys. They also have the exclusive Friendship Festival little merry-go-round thingy. 
Oh, and these seat ponies, which I haven't seen before, they come in the shell like the old school Generation 1 ponies did, seat ponies. So they have Pinkie Pie, and then they have the Queen or Princess seat pony there. They have the large set as well as the little small sea ponies. Very cute. And then down the Disney aisle, they have some cool Mulan figures. This Snow White sort of baking set, I haven't seen that before. You get a doll and accessories. Cool Jasmine with the little baby Raja. They also have this complete set of the princess plushies. Those look cool. They look like cute little dollies. So you can get all the princesses at once. Beauty and the Beast. Oh, Belle. Okay, so it's these plushies. Yep, that's the same one you get in the pack. Good to know. They also have the little Snappin's Toys R Us set. You get a lot in there as well. Ooh, and this cute little Rapunzel with Pascal. Oh my goodness, that is adorable. She's in a bathtub. So this is her as a baby, and in the movie on in her crib on the mobile is a little Pascal hanging there. So it kind of looks like that. <laughs> that is adorable. That's a really cute set. <laughs> And here's a look down the doll aisle. They still have some Season 1 Monster High minis. Cool stuff. They have a lot of the Descendants doll as well as the Toys R Us exclusive 2-pack. And a whole larger section of the Kuku Harajuku. Ooh, what's this? This is called Regal Academy. Those are new dolls. They have a couple play sets for those. Huh. The Charms, love those. There's more Regal Academy dolls up there. The Harajuku outfits, as well as this little van. Oh, that's cool. So she must be the lead singer. And look at the little face. Is it a penguin? I don't know. It's really cute. <laughs> Okay, so I am back home from my toy hunt, and the rest of the video is a haul in case you guys want to see what I purchased. So before you, I was super excited to find this Pokemon multi-figure pack. Look at how cute the characters are. Pikachu has a really mad frowny face. You also get the three new starters. This is just an awesome set. I had no idea it was coming out. There's also a Solgaleo and Lunala figure thing on the back. I must, must have those and look for those on future toy hunts. So super cool. Um, I can't wait to open and display them. You'll probably see them in many, many other TCG video openings. <laughs> and then Toys R Us also had some of the Toys R Us exclusive two-pack nests. So I did pick up two of them. Um, you can get these six little characters. Super cute. They're the alicorns. So kind of like what they did with the um, barracuts. They now have the alicorns, which that's awesome. I only have a large barracuit, Beaky, so he's okay with me getting the smaller <laughs> alicorns. Just not a large one because Beaky's very, very possessive. Okay, and then I picked up two of the new Roblox characters. It's cool that they had the whole set of six. Um, there aren't any like Wave 2 characters. They all look really cool, but the first one I got is Meep City Fisherman. I just love the fact that he has a fish on his head. He looks super happy though. That's adorable. So that looks really cool. And then the second one I got is the Queen of the Treelands because she looks awesome. I mean, from the leaf design to the leaf wings, the butterfly, so cool. So I can't wait to open those. Um, they're really creative. I also like the Hunted Vampire. He might be next, <laughs> but awesome. Can't wait to, to unbox those. Roblox has a lot of new creative and cool stuff out right now too. So there you have it. I want to thank you guys for coming toy hunting with me. It was a lot of fun. Don't forget to like and subscribe to see more of my daily videos. Also check out more toy hunt videos if you just like to kind of shop around and see what's for sale. I want to thank you guys again for watching and I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.